How's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I wanna make a real quick review on the Robinhood investment app. Robinhood is one out of three apps that I use to invest. Uh, and before we get started, I wanna make sure to let you guys know that I'm just beginning to invest. So don't take any of this as financial advice. This is just what I'm doing as part of my family's long-term investment plan. So anytime you invest money, just consider the risk. Uh, and again, this is just a review on the app. So uh, with no further ado, let me get started. All right guys, so Robinhood is the far left uh, icon right there uh, as you can see right now right off the bat the first thing that pops up is the uh, portfolio value I'm recording this on the 26th after the market closed uh, because I'm in Hawaii normally the market closes at about 10 o'clock in the uh, in the morning for me so uh, by the time I wake up it's almost near the market close and uh, that actually had a lot to do with my strategy uh, which I'll talk about in another video so right below the portfolio value you have the days activity and so you can see today was a pretty bad day negative 568 yesterday was actually plus 300 something so one of the things you're going to realize when you first start investing is that you have to be able to control your emotions and so uh, seeing this negative 568 um, when I first started, it gave me a heart attack, but now I'm kind of used to it. So it really doesn't mean anything to me right now. So moving from the daily activity, I'm going to hit the 1W, which is for the week. And you can see there's a lot of ups and downs. So the week in general has been kind of low. Uh, if we look at the monthly movement, uh, then you can see that I'm up $800 for the month. But look at all, all those up and downs. So like I said, it's, I can be up today. I can be down tomorrow, it doesn't really matter. As long as you consider the money that's in there a loss, then it makes it a lot easier emotionally uh, when you're tracking this. So three months, one year, and then we got, uh, since I started. So I started investing with this app back in April 1st, 2016. And as you can see, I'm doing pretty good. I'm up 55.81%. Uh, but uh, as you'll see on my strategy video, that's probably more luck than uh, skill. Right at the bottom of the graph, you're gonna see some uh, cards. Uh, the cards here basically tell you uh, anything that's uh, newsworthy from your portfolio or just in general about the market. Uh, so as you swipe through here, so you can see these are some of the stocks that I'm following. Uh, normally, I uh, just kind of flip through these. I don't really pay too much attention unless I'm following like a specific company or uh, movement in the market in general. Uh, most of the time though, I just flip through these. Normally, the last two are the uh, winners and losers. And I used to look at those a lot, but uh, it doesn't, I don't really do that anymore. So once you run through them, you'll see that it'll tell you you're all caught up. As you go down, you're going to see all the companies that you own. And then you can, uh, you'll see the symbol. You could also see the last price, the percent change, equity, uh, all that stuff, right? I have a lot of uh, different stocks. I got about 30. Uh, half of them are good, half of them are bad. But I'll talk about that later. And right below the companies that you own, you'll see the uh, watch list. So this is just stocks that I'm kind of monitoring so that when I'm ready to buy, then I can just buy some of those. Uh, they're easy to find. If you click on any of these uh, companies, you're gonna be able to go into it and see what the history of that uh, stock has been for, you know, I think the max right now is five years. You could also see uh, the candlesticks, which is a new feature. Uh, you'll also be able to scroll down, see how many shares you own, uh, the equity value you have on there, the average cost that you pay for it, the percentage of your portfolio. Uh, so today it went down 1.37% total. This is uh, the worst one that I have. That's why it's at the top of my list, uh, but it's uh, negative 48.24%. Uh, and so uh, I'll explain why I let it get down that low uh, on my strategy video. Uh, but for now, just know that uh, that's not good. So this is the information of what you own. And right below that, you have the statistics, which are the uh, price that are opened, uh, the price that are closed, uh, the high of the day, low of the day, week, uh, for the 52 week high, 52 week low, yada, yada, yada. So there's a bunch of information on there. You also get some uh, news articles. Uh, if you're interested in buying it, it's good to do some research on the company. I don't do as much as I used to, uh, but then I'll explain that in the other video. 
Uh, and then this is a new feature where it shows kind of like uh, tags basically. It gives you the quarter earnings when they expect the next earnings report to come out. Uh, now then you see some uh, companies that are kind of related to the, that company right there. Uh, and then some other information uh, including the history of when you bought it, when you sold it and all that. And then at the very bottom, you get the description. Right now, as you can see, it says trade on the bottom. That's because I own some other uh, company. But if I go down to my watch list, uh, and then you'll notice that it'll switch to a buy button. Uh, since I don't own any of it, the only option that I get is to buy. Now, if I want to search for a company, then all I have to do is go back to the beginning, hit the little loop. And then uh, let's say we look for Apple. Apple pops up, I click on it. I can go through the info right there. Uh, some of these uh, companies have ratings, so whether the recommendations basically f uh, to either buy, hold, or sell. Uh, if it's a company you're considering but you're not ready to buy, you can just push this little plus button on the top right and that'll add it to your watch list. When you look at the top left, you can see the menu. And so we're, right now we're at portfolio and it shows you the uh, portfolio value and then the buying power. So this buying power is actual cash in the account. So if I wanted to buy a company right now, the most I could buy uh, would be 358.43 of a, a, a stock. Uh, if I wanted to buy more, then it would have to do some kind of deposit so that I have uh, access to more uh, cash. Uh, the next one's free stock. So that's just the link that you get so that you can invite friends. Uh, I've gotten five dollars from it, uh, but besides that, I haven't really used that too much. The next one after that is the account, and so you'll get the total market value. Now, the reason you see my portfolio says uh, right under twenty-nine thousand, but the total market value over forty thousand is because I'm using Robinhood Gold, and uh, that's just uh, if once you start investing, you're gonna realize that there's. Uh, different types of accounts. Uh, a margin account is an account that you're actually borrowing money from the brokerage, the brokerage in this case being Robinhood. So I'm basically borrowing their money so that I can invest it. And now traditionally they used to do it by percentage. So you, it's kind of like a loan, you borrow $10,000. There's a percentage that you pay them per month to be able to borrow that money. Uh, but in Robinhood's case, they do a flat fee. And so right now for 12,000 of borrowed money i'm paying fifty dollars a month but i'm getting fifty dollars in dividends so that basically those dividends are paying for the um for the uh, margin account again i'm a beginner so i don't know if that's a good strategy or not I, that's just something that i decided to do to test it out so you can see right there my buying power i got twelve thousand dollars of robin hood gold i'm using eleven thousand six hundred plus so when you look at withdrawable funds, you're gonna see that I can actually withdraw those $358 uh, and get them to my, uh, my checking account within three days. Now, if you have Robinhood Gold, you get a bunch of data points to tell you, you know, whether your, your margin account is good, uh, the vol volatility of it, uh, and all those kinds of things. But they're a little too more complicated for me to explain, so I'm just gonna leave that for another video. And then because I have more than $25,000 in my account, I can actually do day trading, which initially back in the day I started doing that. Uh, I didn't like it because I would have to wake up at three in the morning uh, because of being in Hawaii time and it just be a hassle trying to stay up while you're monitoring all the uh, different stocks and everything. So it was just too much stress. Uh, so I just kind of stopped doing that. Uh, at the very bottom, you'll be able to see your statements and your tax uh, documents. All right, so moving down to the banking tab. Uh, right here, you'll be able to transfer money to Robinhood, transfer it from Robinhood to the bank, uh, create automatic deposits, link accounts, so that you have like uh, basically checking accounts that you can put on there. Um, you can also transfer some stock, but I haven't done that, so I haven't used any of those. Once you get into the history tab, you'll be able to see all the different transactions. Right now, it's near the end of the month, so I'll start getting these pending dividend uh, deposits. So once the date, for example, September 28th, uh, October 1st, uh, once those days hit, uh, you, I'll be able to see 
uh, how much dividends I'm getting from these uh, companies. Right now, the only transactions you're gonna see are the Robinhood Gold payment and all the dividends because back in April, I stopped investing so that I can focus on, uh, on uh, paying off all my debt. Uh, but all the way up till April, I was investing, I think uh, $50 every week. So right here, a deposit on February 8th. Now, that's a lot of history, so what you can do is you can actually separate it by going to the tab on top, and so you can uh, put up all the transfers. So uh, right here, you'll see that my very first deposit was $1,000 back in April 5th, 2016, um, and then you see orders, so or the last time that I either bought, sold, or canceled a transaction. So right here, you can see that I bought 27 shares of Netflix back in June 2017 for $152. Not too long after that, I sold them for $183, and then I regretted it and went back. Now in December, I bought it again for $189, and at some point it hit 400 something. So right now, I'm just gonna hold on to that, but you can see that that was the last uh, company that I bought uh, and so there's a bunch of stuff on here uh, all the dividends so that you can see there's a lot of basically all the dividends are paying for my Robinhood gold and because so far I've been 50-50 um, with the uh, picks uh, then uh, it's been beneficiary for, the, for, for now and then the last tab is just the settings they're all pretty self-explanatory so I just let you play with those uh, once you download and start using this app. All right, so that's pretty much it for the review and uh, walkthrough of this app. Uh, but again, there's gonna be another video where I talk about my strategy of how I'm buying these stocks and how I ended up with uh, plus 55% uh, return, uh, which seems pretty crazy. But uh, once I show you, then you're gonna realize that it's mostly luck so far. So stay tuned for the next video. Uh, Please let me know if you have any questions or comments so that I can cover them on the next video. And thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember, I'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family. So on top of my weekly vlogs, I'm also going to put videos on how I plan to generate money on the road, how I save money, how I become a minimalist, and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement. Uh, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos and also if you like this video please hit the like button thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye